Hello and welcome to the National Stadium East Field as we prepare for Monday Night Football. Match week two of the Ray Nebu Jamaica Premier League. And it's the battle between Wardhouse FC and Montego Bay United. It's a wonderful night in Kingston, Jamaica. And uh, it's uh, a little warm, but uh, there should be no issues for the players as we hear from the camps of both these teams. Uh, Nido De Santos of Montego Bay United, but first, Marcel Gale of Waterhouse. Marcel, a tough outing for you last week, certainly. It's been a tough 12 months for Waterhouse generally. Um, what is needed to get Waterhouse back in pole position? A win tonight. <laughs> And how are you going to achieve that? Um, we, 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 we take it um, uh, moments. Uh, with us, uh, we, we can't see um, two goals. In, I mean, you know, midway, second half. And I think we lost concentration. But I think we work on that this week. And hopefully, we, um, the guys can go there and execute. It seems when you look at the Waterhouse squad as well, you've, you've gone back to a nice blend of, of youth and experience. How big is it or important is it to have that kind of mix? Um, you know, I mean, room is building in one day. It, it, it's gonna take time, you know. Whenever a new project can come with new players, and a, a new flux of a influx of new players, it, it's gonna take time. So hopefully, um, game by game, we get better, we get stronger, and um, they start buying to um, a philosophy and, and what I want to to, to, to establish on, on, on the park. And uh, we see it in patches last week, but hope this week we can get a, a better result today. Last year was was there was a big issue in terms of creativity. You now you've added Nikoi Christian to, to the squad, and we've seen what he has done at Dumble Holding. Um, how much has he has, has he added to the squad in terms of that filling that gap? He's a he's a he's an influencer, and um, if he has his way, I mean, you know, the game can be, you know, uh, uh, it can be over. But um, we know that Montego Bay is not an easy opponent, and you know, we expect a, a, a good show, show from them. Need a point for you last week. It was quite obvious from watching the play that Movie United still needed to iron out a few things. How was a week of training done for you? Look was good. I mean, we were able to do some changes to try to get stronger our striking position. So we're very optimistic that we can play a good football tonight and get a good result. Back to Mobe. You achieved a big goal last season, keeping them in the Premier League, and you've made a lot of changes. You've bring, brought in some outside players as well. How is the chemistry within the unit, and how much are they buying into your philosophy of play? So far, so good. Actually, even the, the mood of the players among training and matches improved a lot from last season. Of course, it's just the beginning, so we, we are we in a process to develop the, the style we want to play, but I'm quite optimistic that we're going to do well. You talk about comparison. I'm going to take you back a few years. Obviously, you took charge of this team some 10 years ago. How does it compare in terms of the league then and what you expected and to know? Is your style of play the same as well? Look, 10 years ago, the foot, even football here in Jamaica was quite different, right? We had a different kind of players at that time. Uh, so it's, it's very hard to compare 10 years after. Football has changed a lot. I mean, a lot of speed is implemented. So it's difficult for me to compare. What we want is build a very competitive team to be able to, to match up the, the big teams in uh, Jamaica, which we are part of it. We do expect an interesting battle between these two teams. The last five times they met, well, you can see that one team has been dominant. And that has been Wardhouse. Four wins in their last five over Montego Bay United. And uh, I guess you can consider that to be telling in recent times. Yeah, the only win for Montego Bay came last season, the first match of last season fought between these two teams on the 30th of October and Montego Bay with a 1-0 win. They shared wins last season. Last match coming on the 19th of February, that 3-0 win for Waterhouse. Overall, head-to-head, -head, if you were to look at the entire history, Montego Bay lead in terms of wins in their 37 matches, but of recent time, it's been a dominant Waterhouse display for the most part. 
Yeah, Waterhouse didn't have the best start going down to Tivoli Gardens on match week one. Last season, they picked up just five wins in their first 14 games. And it was indicative of a, a poor season for them by their lofty standards. But both these teams have the pedigree. Both these teams have the titles. Both these teams want to make a mark. And uh, Mope United, they're coming of not the best start from match week one. So too Waterhouse with that loss to Tivoli Gardens. And they would really want to kickstart truly their campaign. Mope United in their red, as we take a look at Waterhouse in their yellow and blue. We we'll ask you all to stand for the playing of the national As we now pause for the playing of the, the national of the anthem. National. A few of the players wouldn't want to be the daring headlights. They'd want to perform here at the National Stadium East Field. So Shane Nation is the man in charge here, Alonzo Bennett and Mosley Gale will assist him. Alex Perry is the fourth official. As we take a look at the starting lineup for Waterhouse in goal, Kemar Foster. The back four consists of Hyde, Simpson, Wilson and Blair in the middle of the park. Donato Thomas, Nicole Christian looking to make his mark after his move from Don't be holding Devon Dunkley and Andre Smith up front. Andre Fletcher desperately seeking to regain his form before he had gone across to Mount Pleasant and Javain Bryan would be beside him. Yeah, in that 4-4-2. Excited to see what Nikoi Christian will bring in the middle of the park. A blank they recorded on the first time out Waterhouse and they need a much better showing here today. <laughs> and Montague United, they've made a, about three changes from the side that started match week one. William Ferrer, of course, between the sticks. Lawrence Nish, Odane Wright has come into the back four. And Devereux McKenzie is at right back in the middle of the park. The number 10, the Brazilian, Jean Ferreira, Ronaldo Wellington beside him, and Navon Turner. And up top, the dangerous Amal Nugent Hudson, the 21 year old. And over on the right hand side, Shaquille West. Leo Campbell, the schoolboy, makes his debut for Montego Bay United in the Rain Navy Jamaica Premier League. 4 3 3 for Mobe United. And yeah, quite a few changes as well. Good to see Leo Campbell, Irwin Stryker, into the Costa Cup. 
over 10 goals for him this season, Leo Campbell. And what can the teenager bring here for this Mobile United team who haven't been quite fluent in terms of their goal scoring in recent time? And we're on the way here at the National Stadium Eastfield. Waterhouse with the kickoff. They'll be kicking towards the Blue Mountain Range, and Montego Bay United will be going off into the direction of the Caribbean Sea. And uh, here they are, Waterhouse, with their first attack. Have to wonder what the mindset of the players is at the moment. I'm sure the, the management and staff wouldn't be pleased with the start that they've had so far. And it's been a, a long string of poor performances and inconsistencies for Waterhouse. Really started off last year when they just couldn't quite get going. Here they are trying to break Mobi United Open. Donato Thomas on this left hand side for Waterhouse. Would want to be instrumental here. There he is. And let's be honest, Waterhouse never really recovered from that 2021 season where they led at the end of the preliminaries only to finish fourth. And it, it, since then, it's just been a struggle for Waterhouse. They haven't looked the same team. There's a mass exodus of players as well. And yeah, finishing what? Eighth last season. Just 11 wins from their 26 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. games. Yeah, Marcel Gale is the one who is leading that charge. And they were doing well for a while. I mean, before last season, they would have been what? Runners up in the JPL on seven occasions. And the three of the last four seasons, before last season, they would have gone into the final four. Well, yeah, as we said, 2021, at the end of the preliminary round, they were in first position. And they fell away a bit. Marcel Gill actually went overseas, went to, play, to coach the Jamaica Under-20 team, was away on the tournament, and they... They just didn't manage that well, and they struggled in the playoffs. Finished fourth overall, and since then, they have never looked the same. Well, Thomas trying to break free, but out came William Ferreira, and did well there. I guess if you want to look at the big picture, as we take another look at the opportunity there that Ferreira saw all the way. They did lose to Port United in back-to-back -back seasons in the final. 2017-18 and 2018-19. <laughs> well, yeah, that was, as you said, all before that 2021. Yeah. But last season, their performance was very disappointing throughout the season. As I said, finished eighth out of 14. And they were very inconsistent, struggled in terms of goal scoring as well. Just 26 goals in 26 matches. That's just not good enough especially for Waterhouse. Turner was trying to switch the play there on Waterhouse. They pounce, couldn't get the perfect delivery inside Nevada Blair. And guess what? Shaquille Bradford no longer there. Who was their main goal scorer last season with nine. There's Nida De Santos. Was here, of course, last season with Montego Bay United and looking to build on that program. New ownership now at Montego Bay United. Here's a corner kick. Waterhouse looking to recycle this one. He's sent inside the air. It's not a bad livery, but it was a pivotal header away. And now Montego Bay United will get the free kick on the edge of their own area. Yeah, lots of changes for Mobile United. To Santos brought in as well. Three changes. Yeah, Mackenzie came in. The three changes to the starting lineup. To the starting lineup, but Generally, yeah. if you look at the squad, lots mm. of changes. Oh, yeah. And as you said, ownership as well. Yanni Epstein, the head of Mobile United now in his company. And one of the changes, of course, would have been. Siobhan, Siobhan McDonald, who starts on the bench 
for Montego Bay United. And of course, the youngster has replaced him up top. It looked a little bit strange to see McDonald through the middle playing as a striker, and we usually see him in the middle of the park. Yeah, definitely not a striker. He gets there. Denada Thomas, what can he do with this? Thomas can let fly. It wasn't quite flying. Ferrer saw it all the way. Yeah. In that season where they, well. Here's another opportunity for Waterhouse. But uh, going some good work over on the other side is Niche. Not the best clearance. And uh, this one should be handled by Ferrer. William Ferrer, it is. Wellington. Now it's with Mackenzie. Shaquille West looking for the return. There's the youngster, Leah Campbell. Oh, actually, no, it, it was Ferreira. We know that they expect a lot from this Waterhouse team, the, the fans. I'm sure the management and staff would have felt the pressure which has been building. Turner. Odin Nish, Turner to Lawrence. That was hopeful. The header wasn't a good one. And the shot is wide of the mark. That was an opportunity for Waterhouse. Yeah, good attempt by Brian on the volley. Great that he didn't take a touch. Just didn't come down enough for him. Realized that the keeper was off his line, and because of that, just rushed it a little. If he was going to hit it at that height, he would have had to take off a little in terms of the power, the pace of which he hit it for it to dip in time. Here's Waterhouse again, asking a lot from Nevada Blair there. Along the line, Ferreira won't be able to get it. They have to move quickly, Waterhouse, and they have to be careful. Dunkley. Dwayne Ambersley is still a part of this coaching staff. Yes, here's the youngster. Oh, that's lovely stuff, but couldn't get on the end of his own movement there, Leah Campbell. Wasn't clear properly. 
West inside, Ferreira turning, and here's a shot taken. That's wide of the mark. It was from Turner, I believe, with the effort from some way out and wide of the mark in the end. Not bad build up play. Yeah, comfortably wide in the end. Foster was scrambling, but no threat on his goal. Both these teams struggled badly last season in terms of goal scoring. Mobe United only scored 22 goals in their 26 matches. And Waterhouse just 26 in 26. Apart from Shaquille Bradford, nothing going forward. Well, here they are coming forward. Waterhouse trying to make something out of nothing. Still inside the area. Oh, the touch from Brian wasn't the best, was it? But Waterhouse looking to create another opportunity here. Christian. Wins it back, Christian. On the byline, pulls it across. Free header! That's the start that they wanted. And their number nine comes up big. Javin Bryan. Created by Christian, finished in the heavens, and Waterhouse with the lead over Montego Bay United. Well, Marcel Gale did talk about what Nikoi Christian can bring to this team, the magic, and look at this here. Made by Christian must be good. Brian with the finish, intelligent header, didn't try to overdo it. Brian just placing it into the near corner. And no chance for Ferreira. And Waterhouse deserved the lead. They have started more positively. And they have kept the pressure on. Another assist for the boots of Nikoi Christian. That's the start that they wanted. How has he afforded so much space inside the box, though? Here's an opportunity here. Campbell's first touch wasn't the best. So much being asked of the youngster at the moment. Especially now with his team behind. He is their point person now. And he has a few things to think about. Keithy Simpson. Striding forward well. Oh, lovely return, almost. Almost lovely. And Fur was pulled back, and the yellow card is shown to Andre Smith. Ferreira was making it known to Nation that that's a booking. We well, you know where he couldn't get away with that. Hmm. Or he would have picked up one himself. The thing about signals is that it's known in every language. Yeah. The gesticulation. It was silly from Smith, though. It was unnecessary. And so was that. <laughs> We're so impressed by Nish. Match week one with how he performed and... They call him Pogba. Exactly, and yet he's at the heart of the defense. Yeah. But he did create himself really well, did Ordain Nish. 
Yeah. The season before, he did play in the midfield, which is generally where he played, were the number six and played mostly in that role between a six and an eight. But as I said, he's a versatile player, so playing in the heart of the defence now. What else with the majority of the possession so far in this one? Simpson. Dunkley. Dunkley looking to make a run and does go on another maze run, but then was stopped. Ferreira. Still trying to get used to the Premier League in Jamaica. And possibly the width of certain pitches because that was out of reach. Turner, Ferreira gets the ball back and tries to send it across again. Ferreira trying to get his team going. Here's the corner kick to be taken by Ferreira. Andre Fletcher, of course, was with Waterhouse before he went across to Mount Pleasant. <laughs> Hasn't been the same player since. Wants to refuel his passion for the game once more. Being in a winning team helps. Being in a losing team doesn't. He knows that he needs to make the difference. Or at the very least, a difference. Turner. That one has slipped through. And Waterhouse looking to break. And it's a goal scorer on it. Tries to lay it across. That deflection was necessary. Collision after the fact. Wardhouse with the free kick. Simpson. Brian gets there inside the box. Can he finish? He cannot. Not on this occasion. Wide of the mark. Not happy with the finish. Assistant coach Damian Gordon. But Brian looks hungry. Did play in the tier two system last season. Did Javain Brian play for Med Forest FC in tier two football? 
27 years of age, now joining Waterhouse. Big move for him, and what a way to announce yourself by scoring the first goal of for the Waterhouse season. A lot of players dream of playing Monday night football, and uh, he would have fulfilled that dream and go even better with a goal. There are a lot of decent players who play in the lower leagues who quite a few clubs wouldn't have heard of, especially the clubs struggling in the Premier League that would want to change up a, a couple of things. And we see that happening in recent times, especially with so much light being placed on schoolboy football. I'm not surprised that the likes of Leah Campbell would have received his opportunity tonight for Montego Bay United. And even we've seen of stories, or we've heard of stories and seen stories internationally, Jamie Vardy in particular and his meteoric rise with Leicester City. Ethan Pinnock as well. That uh, big defender, Jamaican defender at Brentford in the English Premier League now. Yeah, they've had many stories, haven't they? Yeah. The England captain. Came ha from real lower levels. Mm -hmm. Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Yeah, and look at him now. Arguably, the best number nine in the world. Well, it is an argument, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way he scores goals, it's smart to bet in his corner. Here they are again coming forward, uh, Ward's house, and trying to make his way through on that occasion, but was unsuccessful. Was Donato Thomas. West sends this one in at the back post. And uh, there's a whistle on the play, a corner kick awarded. Amal Nugent Hudson there got on the end of it, had Keneal Hyde for company. Here's a delivery inside, and the header had to be held by Foster. It was the youngster, Leah Campbell, almost making a big impact there inside the box. And Kemar Foster would have been a little bit relieved that that didn't have a lot of pace. Big chance, though. Was under a little pressure from behind. Yeah. Enough pressure to throw him off. First had to hurriedly clear, but that's not a bad pass at all. And Waterhouse again trying to make their way along that right hand side. Couldn't quite pierce the field, Devon Dunkley. Lovely touch from Thomas, couldn't beat his defender though. Elvis Wilson. Wood. 
what else they are going to take their time about this. They have the lead. They are going to try and stretch Montague Bay United to try and get back the ball. But they do give it up cheaply there. And Lawrence returns the kindness. Touched into space. Turner turns it back. Christian composed. Nevada Blair now. Play this one inside of the back post. Another fantastic save that's made. For a second there, I thought that I crossed the line. It was a wonderful ball in from Blair. And Brian, I actually thought he did well to get on the end of that. And for a, for a brief moment, I thought that I crossed the line, but apparently Ferrer did well. Yeah, I think that came right across the line, actually. Did well. Wow. Excellent call from the officials. Excellent call. No goal. Br brilliant save. Yeah. Brilliant save. The ball was going away from him because Blair did put it across with pace, eh? He had to rise, get his foot high. That was a good save. Great save from F Ferreira. The, the save was made. It, it was always going to be difficult for the assistant referee to see directly across the line. Let's just make it clear. It would have been a, a guesstimate. Here's Ferreira. And no issues there for Foster. But the, the fact that he had to push it forward and then it hits the post, you have to wonder. Well, the keeper was obviously behind the line, but obviously... Ob yeah, he was but, behind the line, that's for sure. But the ball, I don't think, crossed the line. Let's look at the shadow. Let's look. Yeah, I don't think so. I actually think the ball was in front of him, which probably meant it was on the line. You remember, all of the ball has, has to, to cross, cross the line. line and I, yeah. I don't think that I, was I don't the case. think I'm certain that all the ball would have crossed the line. when it came back off the post, it never actually came across on the line. It was always ahead of the line. Great work. All round. Yeah, fantastic football all round. Probably the best bit of football outside of the Arden Gardens goal, team goal, we would have seen. Have they found a new, their new scorer in Brando? He looks ominous inside the box. Yeah. He's a willing runner, mm -hmm. for sure, Brian. I mean, as he plays more, especially at this level, you hope that, I mean, obviously the finishing you look to find too. I thought, as you said, it, sometimes those finishes you think to yourself, they're, they're easy, but it's not as easy as it looks, especially when a ball is played across with pace like that. Blair, pays it inside, Thomas. Go, 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 go. Trying to put that one forward, Andre Smith. What else they get it back? There was a clip from behind. Andre Fletcher. Trying to work his way back. Go, 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 Thomas getting the attention required. What I was hoping that it isn't too serious. 
Yep. Attention required. Remember to download the Sportsmax app today from the Google Play or the, the App Store. And to keep in touch with all the happenings of the Ray Navy Jamaica Premier League. As well as the Issa Schoolboy football competitions in Jamaica. You can watch a lot of the action free on Sportsmax Plus, which is exclusively on the app. Free kick taken. Not clear properly. Now it is. Turner was in the way. Smith now on it. Keneal Hyde, or rather that was Wilson with the long ball. Ferrer has been good so far in goal. Dunkley sends it back out wide and go that's where we that will go into touch for a goal kick to Montague Bay United. quite guide that Thomas but he does get back the gift and uh, Ferreira patrolling his area well Amal Nugent Hudson has been quite so far in this game Ferreira Kenzie sends this one inside, not clear properly. Turner was inside the area and the whistle goes. Oh, it was the offside flag that went up against Turner. Crowd growing all the time here at the National Stadium Eastfield. Most of the supporters here behind the leaders in this game. Turner is going to go into the book here. This is why. Another sport they'd call that unnecessary roughness. Here's a switch in play. Oh, what a lovely takedown that is. And what an amazing goal. Now you can replay that over and over again. Denardo Thomas. Well, he has started a party of his own with a glorious effort. And he will never forget that hit. What a strike that was. We'll remember that hit for a long, long time. It's another assist for Nikoi Christian. 
the touch was magnificent from Thomas. He's always had that kind of ability, Denada Thomas. It's the 20th in his Premier League career. And into the far corner. That's up there with the best. The touch sublime. The finish. Well, mouth watering. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow. You don't get much better than that. I was a bit surprised when he when he initially took down the ball. I mean, it was excellent, but how much the defender backed off of him just to give him that room? I'm not sure if he was not expecting him to strike or was afraid of Thomas attack, attacking him. But yeah, great finish. Two goals and two assists now for Nikoi Christian. What house? They really are large and in charge here. And uh, I'm sure you'll see that goal on highlights everywhere over the next week or so. There's another whistle on the play. Free kick in favor of Wardhouse. In their own half. We have about, what, nine minutes to go in this first half, plus time added for stoppages. We have another interview lined up. We'll get to that in, in short order. A lot of the stuff that you see on social media is because of these guys. And you'll hear from the mind of one of them in a little while. <laughs> but surely that goal from Donata Thomas is going to be one that's highlighted for a while. It's a really a good goal to light up the night here at the Stadium East Field. Intercepted. What else? Winning back the possession so easily. Christian. Anywhere will do. Say that Montego Bay United they have been picked apart, but they've just been on the wrong side of a couple of good moments there as Thomas works well. And an opportunity here that's fired over the top. Brian with a sniff of goal. Yeah, just a little being a little bit patient here. Waterhouse, when it comes wide to Keith Simpson and then into Denada Thomas, his quick feet creating space and opportunity for the likes of Brian. Well, we speak about the the highlights that we see on social media through 876 Stream. You're about to hear from one of the minds of 876 Stream. He's with Jenny. Thank you, Donald. I'm here with Alexander. Alex, when I saw you on the cycle track a while ago, you were sitting down and capturing some shots of the match going on. Tell me the process behind 876 stream and social media of the league, marketing the league. Well, our, our aim was always to advance local football in Jamaica. And we thought that the best way to do that is through the nation's product for local football, which is the Jamaica Premier League. So, Anything that we do, we do it with the aim of advancing local talent. And we know what the benefits are for exposure for local talent. Jamaica Premier League is a feeder league. And with that in mind, our aim is always to help 
advance the careers of local footballers and to give footballers who are coming up something to look at. And Jamaica Premier League is one of those things that we want to turn into for aspiring footballers. Okay, so where can everybody follow you guys? Well, you can follow us at 876 Stream on Instagram, Stream 876 on Twitter as well, and we're on Facebook as well. Well, stay tuned. Back to you, Donald. Thank you too. Thanks, Jenny. Yeah, they have been doing an amazing job so far in the highlights and the clips and the promotions as well, especially their artwork. Absolutely fantastic on social media. Yeah, you can follow them on Instagram at 876 Stream. And uh, don't miss out on the action and the angles that they provide, along with the shots here that you see on the home of champions. We've seen a lot of artistry from Waterhouse thus far, and the angles have been brilliant. Just ask Denada Thomas. Whilst Janae was interviewing, he had another moment where a beautiful takedown and then a little back heel just to free Blair. The crowd certainly loved it and it earned Mackenzie. Devereux. A yellow card. Yeah. Donato Thomas again. Christian. It was a little bit casual on that occasion. But he has provided a couple of assists so far. Nicole yeah. Christian. You can strike them from distance every now and then, Christian, even though he's sometimes shy about it. <laughs> he scores three goals last season. One of them, one of the goals of the season, too. Yeah. Well, it was a, a double, wasn't it? At well, Jack yeah. Saul. Yeah. yeah. Two brilliant <laughs> Two ones. Two brilliant goals. Christian. Slide from him. Hand of apology went up. Ferreira sends it out wide. Shaquille West gives chase. West delivers inside. Nobody there in red and green. That's a delightful ball of field. And Brian is on it. Gets a support. Christian. Again trying to thread that one through. But most of his passes in the last couple of minutes have been a little shallow. I was just wondering if we would have seen the drive from him there. Mackenzie to West. West inside, headed away. West will pick it up again. Ferreira. Again playing it inside, looking for the spectacular, the youngster. <laughs> Yeah, Leah Campbell is desperately seeking to make a mark, and a yellow card has been shown to Nevada Blair. Montego Bay United, they do have a lot of work to do. And uh, it would be interesting to hear that dressing room team talk as to why they have fallen short so far in this first half. From your point of view, Chris Taylor, why do you think they've fallen short? Well, I don't think they're winning any of the battles within the middle of the park. I think it's been total control there for, for Waterhouse, how, how they have moved their ball. Waterhouse get out of their area very quickly as well. And when the ball comes inside, short, quick passes, and then it finds Nikoi Christian in, that, in those pockets of space. So he's then able to pass the ball all around. And then you have the likes of Denada Thomas, quick feet, ability to get around players, which then creates space for others. We're hearing two minutes of stoppages to be played. Mackenzie's back on the park. Go, go, 
was shown a yellow card. Thomas gets a return ball. Oh, lovely. Cutting inside. Oh, he's singing here. Christian out wide. Ball across the area, not quite for her side. <laughs> Referee Nation says play on. Ferreira. That's a lovely ball inside, but the flag goes up against Campbell. The youngster is lively and a change is going to be made. Devereux McKenzie is going to be taken out of the firing line. They're not even waiting until half time. And the man who he replaced in the starting lineup is getting ready to come on. Oh, that's a loose back pass from Turner. And what else can they make it? Three! Brian again! This time the poacher. Turner with a critical mistake. And Jabane Bryan was there to take home the loot and get his second goal of the night. And Woodhouse, they are running away with this as a contest. I like him as a forward, Donald. Definitely do. Very aware. Puts in the work, gives the runs. Just look at this. Never lost concentration, and that is not an easy finish. From an acute angle, the defender getting back on the line. Just look at him take the glance here, just to look up and say, well, I'm going to play that high. You may be there on the line, but you can't jump that high. Two goals in the Premier League for this man. And a wonderful start to his Waterhouse career. Well, they lost 3-0 last week, Waterhouse. They have forgotten quickly. Hope that Montague Bay United respond. They won't be able to, not in this half. Waterhouse on their A game, led by their number nine, Javain Bryan. It's a new name, but it may be a name we'll remember for a while. And he has begun to write his legacy for Firehouse, the team from Jerusalem. And Montague Bay United, they have been lit. Waterhouse in charge at the break. And they lead by three goals to one, three goals to nil over Montego Bay United. Continues on your home of champions on Tuesday afternoon, 3 o'clock, Las Palmas, hosting Atletico Madrid. You can watch it on Sportsmax 2, beginning 3 o'clock Jamaica time, 4 p.m. in the Eastern Caribbean. La Liga action on your home of champions. It's another one-sided affair, apparently. Waterhouse with a 3-0 advantage over Montague Bay United. 
you, you figured that Moby United would have been in it had they gone into the interval just two goals behind, but that goal on the stroke of half time would have really put them right under the cost, Chris Taylor. Yeah, Waterhouse have certainly come out to play. They've looked a much better team, comfortable on the ball, 61% in terms of possession, and it's not just about the possession, but it's what they've done with it. There could have been more goals. They have pressed well, they have shared the ball, they have used the wide areas. The two very creative and, and destructive players, you would say, in their in their team lineup, Denada Thomas and Nicoy Christian. Both from different perspectives, one a pass and one able to break down a, a defense line. They have done that well, and, and wow, that number nine there, isn't he a find in Javain Bryan? Presence up front. And as I said, these two teams have struggled in terms of goal scoring from last season. So this is a good sign for Waterhouse. Shaquille Bradford moving on from Waterhouse. He was their le leading goal scorer last season, and they were so dependent on him. Out of the 26 goals scored, he scored nine of them in the entire season. Uh, yeah, that was a big struggle for them. Still wondering teams against strong defensive units. Obviously, Brian might, might be a fine for them. We'll see how he goes as the season goes on, but who will the other goal scorers be? Will Thomas have a season like he had in 2021 where he scored, what, some eight goals in the season? Last season, just three, and it did make a difference. So can he get amongst it? Can Fletcher get back into goal scoring form? McDonald has come on the park, and he has replaced the captain, Navon Turner. Special play at the schoolboy level was Shavon McDonald. Part of that winning Champions Cup team with Cornwall College. Literally difference maker in that game. Yeah. Were the captain now, armband, the number seven for Cornwall College. Hasn't quite set the Premier League alight yet, but he has the ability. Well, it's a big goal to take off your captain. Call made by Nader De Santos. And maybe even Turner would agree with that call. He's had a nightmare of a game, and Brian is there trying to create more nightmares. The Montego Bay United defense and midfielders have just been a little bit too lax. Christian challenge coming in hard Nicholas Lawrence there Fletcher appears to be okay. Christian to take the free kick. We'll go the easy route on this occasion. Smith. Simpson. Oh, they give it up easily. And this is Ferreira. Found the nearest exit and managed to put it in the touch. Viali Motolola has come on for Devereaux McKenzie, who was also on a yellow card. Nugent Hudson. Up, 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 up. 
Ferreira. Overhooked it. I'm sure he feels a little better now with proceedings. Marcel Gale. West. McDonald. No, that was Wellington, rather. Lawrence. This is McDonald. Out muscled there, though. Brian was sandwiched. Lost possession. John Claudio Ferreira on it. Matalola gets the corner kick. Dunkley didn't need assistance from off the bench. No, Nif. Nif, I want to cut now. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ferreira inside the area, nodded away. Second ball. West picks it up. Pensive is Nida de Santos. They need a, a goal right away. This is their fourth corner kick. Ferrer again. Corner kick number five coming up. Well, he's stolen a couple of yards. Corner kick inside, headed away. Flag goes up against Hudson.
I think Elvis Wilson knew exactly what he was doing there. Speaking of players coming out of obscurity, Elvis Wilson again is, is also that story and we've spoken about him a couple of times. I'm sure the Waterhouse supporters would know Wilson's story as well as the story of this game which has been very much one-sided, 3-0. Janae is with a few of them. And I am here with some fans. This is Ray and Nephew Fan Spirit. This is one of the fans from Waterhouse who has been supporting for years. How many years have you been supporting Waterhouse? Well, I can't tell from my barn. Come on, brother, they used to carry me gun match. So you live at Waterhouse? Yes. All right, you have a player on the field, or all of them is your boys? All of them are my son. All right. Now, we always see you in the stands with the pot cover, but I don't see it this week. What's going on? And uh, me are uh, the one when he ratted gun him at the pot cover man. Oh, but him but no come a today. Team. Yes, so me and him work so today. yeah. And the next lady where she roll. Yeah, <laughs> but, but me you dance, know, no, uh, me so dance. So you can't bust a dance away. What do you mean, man? Come on, man. Hey. All right. So that is Mums and now over here. Tell me your name. Dujan Sweetness. All right, Dujan Sweetness. Last week, Waterhouse oh. Collect Tree. No. They're leading by three to Mobe. Yeah. Tell me how you feel. Feel wonderful. Yeah, last week was a rough one. We think the guys are never well focused. But we'll go up on the train board and come back this week. I'm gonna see the coach do some work in the training session and it was wonderful. So you and go yeah. to the training? Yeah, when uh, before I go to work. So yeah. how you talk to me so prima and proper and a while ago you reason with me like you tell me you used to play football. For who? Um for Waterhouse, the youth program coming up, but when I reach to the Premier League level, me start a business, so me kinda of load the football and focus on my business. Now the business are grow, but we still support the team one hundred percent. Alright. And we now nah, um, left them out not only. Alright, give them give them one piece of advice. Um, we have a number. Oh, the, the, the team are. Yeah, the team. All right. We just want them to keep up the good work and get the result. Them. Yeah. All right, right. Waterhouse, you heard it from here first. Some of your long standing fans. We have more action with you, Donald and Chris. Back to you. Dujon's sweetness must be the nicest name I've ever heard. Actually, Chris Taylor. Well, you sprinkle <laughs> quite a bit of sweetness on this Waterhouse performance. And the lady dance is better than you, by the way. It's not difficult. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> she had a little jig. I think that's what you want to call it. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting jiggy with it. A mini drift, eh? I don't know what gear it was. Here's yeah. Mobile United <laughs> trying to get into our next gear here. That's a, a ball played inside that Kemar Foster saw all the way. And this is Andre Fletcher. Fletcher had continued his run. The keeper is off his line and did enough to throw him off. Right goes long. Not the best back pass on that occasion. Foster did enough. McDonald was a little bit wayward in getting that one. This game 
feels also familiar to the first. Anigan's establishing a, a big lead in the first half. Came out not that intensely. Malines United couldn't forge a path back and it looks to be the same thing happening here with Mobe United not quite having the answers to to mount a comeback even if they are going to be making change after change and another one is coming up here that has gone through Campbell keeps his balance and it's wide of the mark the flag though did go up flagging the youngster offside but well, regardless he did really well there no he has something about him Leo Campbell still a teenager but he hasn't had much help going forward and a lot of the times he's had to come really deep look at where he is he's actually on the edge of the semicircle as we see the change with Leon for Nugent Hudson so yeah he's been asked to do a lot but has skill well and here's a an opportunity that's put wide of the mark Brian was appreciative of the service just now Remember to download the Sportsmax app today from the Google Play Store or the App Store. And uh, just to be on top of quite a bit of sporting action, including our local productions in Jamaica, from the Jamaica Premier League to the Issa Schoolboy Football Competitions. In Trinidad and Tobago, of course, we have the SFL. We also have the European Champions League and so much more that's a lot of football for you mind you what i was making a couple of changes themselves three changes in fact Waterhouse, they've chosen some big numbers here. Dante Duncan coming on. They call him Buster. Chibison is back from Mount Pleasant. Leonardo Chibison. Spent time at Mount Pleasant last season. He'll be coming into the middle of the park. Duncan, more of a winger. Just wonder if they'll morph somewhat into a 4 3 3 kind of formation. Fletcher is off as well. Fletcher still looking to find back form. Shamari Dallas, who can play wing back as well as quite a versatile player. Dallas, really good work rate. Spent a lot of time at Humble Lion. Shamari Dallas. <laughs> Well, I'm 
Weatherly. Yeah. The referee continues with the play here. Jose Nation seeing nothing wrong. Yeah, that looked like a clear foul, though, hitting the back of Duncan. Not sure why that wasn't called. Definitely wasn't a shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, that's a foul from Gibson. That's a delightful ball played through. Can he finish? Well, that's Gibson. Yeah, it was Gibson and found the side netting. Lovely play though by Waterhouse. Corner kick to Waterhouse. Here it comes, and the, the proper connection on it. Brian remains down in the penalty area. Jibison. Well, Wilson only had one thing on his mind there. Yeah, he's a no-nonsense kind of character, Elvis Wilson. McDonald. Duncan. Lovely stuff by Waterhouse. Blair, Jibison, back to Blair, Christian, trying to put that one into space for Brian to run onto. That sequence wasn't too bad.
Christian. There's the ball over the top. The flag goes up though. Montague United trying to move quickly through the gears. Yeah, Shamar Dallas, Dallas coming on for Fletcher. I expect him to sit a lot more. Ferreira. Does have a good engine about him, Shamari Dallas. Especially with Duncan coming on. Duncan not really known to get back a lot defensively. Real out and out wing. A very expressive going forward though. So even though they were playing originally with a 4-4-2. I wouldn't be surprised if this is morphed into more of a 4 3 3 now with Gibson and, and Duncan coming on. Actually, I actually think they could have allowed Thomas to play on the other flank because of his ability to break down defense lines and let Gibson play more of the midfield role. Here's an opportunity for Mobe United, and this shot is dribbled through to Kamara Foster. Yeah, again, it's Thomas who has given away the ball in there. I'm just wondering if he's a bit tired, and maybe the midfield role not really suited for him. Christian. Kept in play well by Duncan. Another change to be made by Mobe United. Shaquille West has run his race. Denry Williams replace him, replaces him. Here's an opportunity for Duncan. Duncan to the byline, pulls it across. Here they come again. Christian trying to flick that one inside. Didn't quite work on that occasion. I think the pass was short from Dallas, though, to be honest. Even though it went in the direction of Christian, it wanted yeah. more pace, just so Christian could move on to it and finish. Agreed. Instead of having to drag it along. Montague Bay United allowed to play a little bit more in the second half. Nicely done by Waterhouse. Almost. Weatherly. Nice ball inside. McDonald hesitated. Manages to get the shot off, but there was not a lot of power in it. Referee says play on. Yeah, he's going to stop it now because the player is down injured still. And the yellow card is shown in the direction of, I think that's Nish. Gibson. Thomas. McDonald. Yeah, 
Waterhouse on the verge of making a couple more changes. We'll tell you they've been short order. Devante Walker. Andre Smith comes off. Jeffin Bryan comes off. Moby United making another change here. And Jean Claudio Ferreira. Still to make an impact in the Jamaica Premier League, replaced by Rashid Brown. to get his first touch walker. Wellington. Nice ball over the top. Batalola. Now the ball coming in from Denry Williams should have been a little better. Well, Christelle, at least we didn't get a couple of goalless games again. Yeah, that really could happen two weeks in a row, could it? Never expected the games to be as one-sided as they were today, though. A bit careless from Waterhouse there, though. Almost as if they are getting bored. <laughs> They're not the only ones. Well, Montague United, as has been the case for the second half, they just need one to start. Rashid Brown, can he be instrumental? In the middle of the part, that change. What else they have done enough? Shane Nation speaking to Weatherly. 
Here's Duncan. Morgan. McDonald now to Weatherly. Weatherly to the byline. Repelled by the Waterhouse defense. Christian looking for an outlet. He has to assist to his name, Nikoi Christian, but a couple of his passes have been a little shallow. Well, maybe he's still in contention for player of the game, Christiana. Nikoi Christian. Wellington out wide. Lawrence Weatherly went down under the touch. Inside the area, and uh, a penalty has been awarded for Montague United. Wow, what a call! Didn't seem like arms were extended, though. It seems like arms are beside the body. Let's see it here. Oh, that's not a penalty. Well, I don't want to that's see that again, actually. Call. Look at this. Oh. Hands oh, beside wow. the body. That's definitely not a penalty. I'm sorry, O'Shea Nation, but I can't agree with that. That was extremely harsh. Hands alongside the body and a deflection from a player right beside him. Hands alongside the body. Um, that can't be a penalty. And wow, Montego Bay with a lifeline here. Well, it will be a new kicker. It will be Pogba because Nevon Turner was taken off at half time. Well, Odin Nish has placed the ball 12 yards away. The wind has had its say in the proceedings. Let's see what happens here. Nish. To get a goal back for Montego United, saved by Foster. And the Wardhouse supporters will say justice was done. Now that's lovely from Waterhouse. Christian. Let's just say that he sees things that so sometimes his In the teammates matrix. don't see. <laughs> yeah, not the best penalty. Showed it, showed exactly where he was going, Nish. And as we said, it was a big deal for Mobile United. No Nevon Turner, their regular penalty kicker and captain. Nish had to step up and he couldn't get it done. Big save, Kemar Foster. And yeah. McDonald with a driving run. I wouldn't want to say that Montego Bay United, they look out, out of sorts. They had their moments in the first match week against the new boys, Lime Hall. I mean, they were new boys, but still. And what else today they have been clinical to be 
harsh to say that they've been played off the park. They haven't, I don't think. They, ha they have a, a long drive home, including the captain who had to be taken off. He would want to forget this game as quickly as possible. Navon Turner. Well, whether he took that one, didn't he? And again. Morgan trying to dribble his way through, not happening. Ball slipped through, scooped. Leah Campbell hasn't had a bad debut. He hasn't, but he hasn't had a lot to work with. Mm. But he has something they can work with, Moby United. Still a schoolboy player. And physically, he hasn't done badly against this Waterhouse team. But as you said, Moby United, guilty of not getting enough players forward. Desperation passes a lot of the time and scraps for Campbell to work off of. Oh, that's lovely skill from Duncan and Morgan. And Morgan, well, didn't quite reach him, did it? Looking for a fourth here, Waterhouse. Ambitious from Keith Simpson, to say the least. Doesn't score many, Simpson. Almost a perfect find. That should be a goal kick. As we take a look at the Sportsmax app moment of the game, I wonder which goal it is. There was only one contender. Look at this first touch. But yeah, the second. Good night. There's absolutely nothing that Ferrer could have done about that one. What a strike that is from Donato Thomas. And obviously, that's the Sportsmax app moment of the game. Courtesy of the Sportsmax app, download it today. Wonderful stuff from Waterhouse's number 10. Want to save. I suppose the analysis begins from off the bench, I suppose. Maybe even taking some words of advice from Chris Taylor.
Duncan, or rather Christian. Here is again Christian. Dante Duncan runs a little bit like one Raheem Sterling, in my opinion. Has, has a similar movement in his running style. Yeah, very pacey player, very skillful in the wide area. Has a good left foot as well, Duncan. I guess that would be different to Raheem Sterling. <laughs> But yeah, just I think needs some a, a more work rate. Christian to deliver. That's a wonderful ball. And Ferreira did what Ferreira does. Yeah, his ninjutsu didn't look bad at all. Not at all. Neo would have been in, impressed from the Matrix. <laughs> Oh Lord, <laughs> it's, a, it's an opportunity here for Waterhouse and he has brought down, has he? Has he been brought down? The referee remains motionless with the exception of pointing for a corner kick. He was actually in no position though, Nation. He was close to the half line. Let's see this here. I don't think there's a lot in it nah, to be fair. I, I don't think that's a penalty. I don't think so. So, good call. It was made from distance. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing in that. <laughs> Ball played inside and it's headed away. We're hearing that three minutes of stoppages will be played at the end of the 90 minutes here. And Montague United, I suppose they have enough time to get a consolation. Weatherly. Pretty much wraps up their story for tonight, I think. Another opportunity here. McDonald delivers inside. Corner kick. Christina Jamaica has had a long day today with uh, what would have affected so many of us with the earthquake, but there was never anything in that Monday Night Football would have been put off. I know that a lot of schools and workplaces got the time off early. And... Uh, That's what the Premier League is about in terms of being that distraction, being that form of entertainment as well. Uh, members of the crowd beginning to leave, but they would have enjoyed a couple of really good goals as well from the two matches here. So a couple of really good goals from the two matches here. And yeah, that's what the Premier League is about. Just thinking about it, all seven goals scored in the first half of the matches. Yeah. Nothing in the second half. Nothing in the second half. Either this one or the or the first game between Arnett and Mullines. Nicky Daly is a part of the Waterhouse squad, but uh, he's just coming back from injury. And he's hoping to make his mark on proceedings for Waterhouse pretty soon, so they... They have him in their back pocket, so to speak. Yeah, he should definitely help their goal-scoring woes, mm -hmm. which they had coming into this season. And based on what they have found from Javain Bryan, he would be a lovely, lovely partner in crime for Nicky Daly up front. Yeah, I think so. Two different kinds of forwards as well. Well, trying to break away and does break away on his left foot driving effort that didn't have a lot of power. Jermaine Morgan. Not a bad attempt. Mm. Had lots of work to do.
I think it's pretty clear cut who the player of the game is. He has impressed you, Chris Taylor. Javain Brown. Yep. I like him as a centre forward. Good performances all around for Waterhouse, but he's definitely the winner. So to Waterhouse. After 90 minutes, they have the three goals to show for it. Donato Thomas with a pick of the bunch. Kamar Foster didn't have a, a busy evening, but he was competent. But uh, the show belonged to Javain Bryan, the striker, the number nine, with the two goals to his name. Has a bit of a limp. Hopefully it's not too much of a concern. But this game was won in the first half, wasn't it? And Montague Bay United, it would have been difficult for them to provide a proper response in the second. After 90 minutes, Wardhouse 3 0 over Montego Bay United. As we take a look at the full time highlights here, most of the happenings took place in that first half. Donato Thomas with the effort on target. Did have a lot of power behind it. That had power, but not a lot of direction. Montague Bay United. Turner, his effort wide of the mark. But they were just sloppy at the back. West giving it away. Christian's delivery inside. And uh, Brian with the finish. Talk about laying it on a platter. He ate it up. Javain Bryan unmarked at the back post. Giving thanks. Opportunity here that was nodded down. The youngster, Leo Campbell, could have made an impact. He was busy all evening. And then the ball coming inside and Brian was there again but it's a magnificent save from Ferreira really top class and then look at this takedown from Thomas and then the finish that's just brilliant it really was that's just excellent work from Waterhouse's number 10 look at this again and bang mercy they were astonished too they really enjoyed it turner just gave this one away the captain of montague bay united and then the finish javain bryan excellent from an acute angle too we've seen so many strikers all across the world missing after going that wide but he took that one away didn't he Defender on the line, that's Nish. Had no chance to recover. And that was the second of the game. And then a handled ball was given there. So very harsh. And then Nish found Foster. And that was all she wrote. Waterhouse with most of the shots. Seven on target as well. Montego United had five. And you can see that quite a few other cards were shown. Three to Mobile United, one more than what Waterhouse would have received. Six corners to Mobile United, especially in that second half when they were asked to go forward. They were afforded a lot more space, but Waterhouse overall had the majority of the possession at 63%. Javain, out of the Tier 2, into the Premier League with a bang. How does it feel to score the first goal for Waterhouse this season? Well, it takes um, a little bit of dedication, knowing that I'm the number nine for the team. i got to take that responsibility to put my team in front and to find the, the clincher. It was a brilliant one. And that second goal you scored as well was from a difficult angle. Tell me what was going through your mind just as you 
you, you looked up and saw that the keeper was going to get the ball and you felt you could have got there before him. Talk me through that play. Uh, well, that was a bit of, bit of something we coming from in the training session. When once we saw the keeper coming, it takes two touch. One pass him, second one in the goal. When you got around the keeper, it was a very difficult angle. What was going through your mind at that time? To place yeah. it in the roof or how to get around the defender? Well, honestly, I've got to say it's... Well, it's do or die. You know, it's you just have to try it and it works. So I have to be grateful for it. A Premier League player now, a Premier League forward, two goals and a chance. What kind of goals have you set yourself for this season? Well, I set myself to see like a 15 or more for my team. All right, Javin, congratulations on your performance today. We look forward to seeing you more in the weeks to come. Thanks. Well All done. the best. Javin Brand, they are a player of the game for Waterhouse. Two goals, his first two as a Waterhouse striker wearing the number nine. Neda De Santos comes into picture now. Neda, another frustrating performance for you. The team didn't start well on the back foot from early and you, you just never recovered. Yeah, man. First half was atrocious. Really bad, you see. Uh, completely, the players completely out. So, so <laughs> difficult even to comment. Second half, we made some changes. I mean, was more balanced, but was not, of course, was not enough after the first half. Horrible. You just couldn't get the ball as well. When we looked at the first half, 39% in terms of possession. I mean, that doesn't tell the full story, but the truth be told, you couldn't get on the ball. And when you did, you were very deep, too deep to even yeah. to facilitate the likes of Leo Campbell. Yeah, the, the, players, the players, instead of being forward, they waiting too much, so give too much space to Waterhouse. Second half, we correct that, and the match was more balanced. But first half was, I don't know, I don't know what happened to them because this is not the way we play. We play pressing right there. I don't know if they feel insecure. I really don't know. It was atrocious, really. Chance to get back into the game. Miss penalty. Obviously, the captain, you took him off at half time, so not there to take the penalty for you. How frustrating was that? You see, after the first half, I needed to do something. I needed to do something. So I changed some players, uh, not, not blaming them. For, for what happened, but to try to give some life in the second half, right? And the penalty, this happens. The, the guy trained yesterday, played well. Today missed. Those things happened. All right, coach. Better weeks to come. All the best going forward. Thank you very much. Neda Dos Santos, their head coach of Mobi, coming out on the losing end of things. The assistant coach for Waterhouse joins me. Damien, Damien, you must be happy with that performance coming off of, of what took place last week, a struggle against Tivoli, but uh, to come back with a bang like this, especially that first half. Definitely. Sometimes, sometimes it can be Obi-Wan and Dark Vader in, in a minute, and that is coaching. But we have this league is coming with a lot of pressure, so you have to have a strong belief system and you have to maintain your composure. And what we like about this evening in terms of the first half, we used the ball well and we kept possession of the football. And we identified some areas on the pitch where we could have exploited this team, and we did that. And we did that pretty well first half. Yeah, you're very aggressive. I mean, you look at the league last season, you only scored 26 goals in 26 matches. Not really the Waterhouse way. Yeah. But this first half looked more like the fluent Waterhouse of age, where many different persons could score, moving the ball quickly. And clinical in front of goal. Javain Bryan, talk to me about him as well. <laughs> Absolutely. And we talk about that belief system and we also believe that Javain Bryan can do a good job for us. He has been doing it in the preseason. So I move him after one game. So, I mean, today he did us well in terms of two goals. I think he would have gotten a third, but it is football and it's also a learning curve for all of us. More players to come in in terms of the strike force as well. We saw someone in the stands that we know is a part of your squad. So that as well looking good for Waterhouse in the near future. Yeah, it's a cake we're baking, you know. So we don't want to put the ice in any cake before we actually bake it the right way. So, I mean, in terms of the team spirit today and the squad itself, it is getting better. It has improved, especially after the loss against Tivoli. So we're moving forward. All right, it's positive for Waterhouse. How about the mental? We look forward to the weeks to come. All Thank you, sir. All right. Just a couple of matches to speak of, and uh, they were pretty one-sided, weren't they? Arnett Gans with a 4-0 win over Malines United. Waterhouse blanking Montego Bay United by three goals to nil. And with that, we see the latest standings. Arnett Gardens on top on four points from their two matches. And the Tivoli, Mount Pleasant, uh, Humble Lion uh, in uh, second, third, and fourth with a game in hand, of course. Waterhouse uh, with that additional game. 
uh, now in fifth position on three points. But yeah, still very much early proceedings here in the Ray Neville Jamaica Premier League. It's been a dramatic. It's been a dramatic day. It's been a long day, and for Ward House and for Arnett Gardens, a successful day. We hope that uh, we have been uh, the much needed distraction for you as we bring you the final sights from a wonderfully cool evening here at the National Stadium East Field. On behalf of the very hardworking production team, my producer Ramon Stewart and director Michael Edwards, uh, Chris Taylor and Jeanet from the stands, I'm Donald Oliver. It's good night for the final time from Independence Park.